The Republican caucus is March 2nd, and Republican voters across the state have received this mailer in their mailbox, the Idaho Bulletin. I'm senior reporter Roland Barris for Idaho News 6, and this mailer takes a relatively negative point of view about the GOP right now ahead of the coming caucus. The Secretary of State's office says that's okay, at least for now. The Idaho Bulletin looks like a mini newspaper of stories critical of the current GOP and the group Take Back Idaho. I got that thing too. Says it's been getting the blame. It doesn't speak for me. Yeah. Take Back Idaho got a lot of inquiries and, and you know, it's not us. Take Back Idaho is a political group that has been trying to move Idaho politics more to the center, but it is transparent on its website of who's involved. Jones says the Bulletin is not, and that's a problem. You know, when you put a, an anonymous thing like that out, it raises suspicion. I think it's not appropriate, and I'd like to see the Secretary of State take a look into it and see who's trying to influence policy. So I went to the Secretary of State to ask him if this bulletin is legal. That kind of thing does have to have a disclaimer, but only in a certain window leading up to an election. So it's 30 days before a primary election and 60 days before a general election. Notice he didn't say caucus because that is a private party event and focused only on the presidential race. So there's no requirement of transparency. What can you presume from someone who does, does something political and doesn't put their name on it? Uh, unfortunately, we see a lot of efforts of people to do that. Or we just see people not doing it intentionally. So I, I think it's a fair question to be asking. However, we all go to the polls May 21st for the state primary, and if the bulletin is still circulating then... It could be an issue. If we get an inquiry, we'll look into it, but I can tell you at a pretty quick blush that uh, it, it meets all the legal requirements as it stands right now. Jones says legal or not, it's concerning. You know, it could be somebody that's well-meaning, but it could be somebody that's trying to mislead folks. This mailer says it's a one-off, but weekly updates will be posted, it says, on Facebook. Whether or not that continues right up until the May 21st primary, well, that is something that we and the Secretary of State's office will be watching closely. In downtown Boise, senior reporter Roland Barris, Idaho News 6.